Welcome to the AI and CyberAngel project where we've effectively solved the need experience to get experience problem in our industry. I'm going to be super transparent in this video and it's not going to be a whole scripted thing. I'm just going to do my best to cover everything. So if you're in industry and you think I say something that's like uh, misleading or whatever, feel free to call me out in the comments. And anyone else, if you have any questions, feel free to ask literally whatever you want and I'll do my best to answer. So the CyberAngel is not a course, rather it's a community that has a platform in it. And the platform is a super like hyper realistic real life work environment that has an enterprise security stack with a lot of licensed security tools in it, as well as several courses that teach you how to use those tools. You'll gain hands on security operations experience against many of the same threats that you would uh, experience working with at a like quote unquote normal security job. It's really, really realistic. This is super helpful for people who decide to use the actual internship component in the cyber range where you can use our company as experience to put on your resume as well as your LinkedIn. And then when you apply to jobs in the future, and then the employer will like reach out to us and then we'll validate your experience. And it, it really helps a lot. And all these people that you're seeing here, they're actual like real people who have gotten jobs in the cyber range. And you can always like DM them or try to like message them inside the cyber range if they're, if they're not too busy. So in this video, I'm going to cover exactly what the cyber range is in full transparency. I'm going to talk about why I built it. I'm going to talk about exactly specifically who runs and supports it in my team. I'm going to cover what it looks like when you join, like I'll show you the actual screens and I'll show you the actual coursework that's inside, like what you can expect to see, like once you join and go inside. And then I'll cover um, like the community aspect of it as well. And I'll also do like a quick demonstration of the environment, like I'll log into the different tools just to give you like a sense of what you can expect once you join. So what the cyber range actually is, uh, like I said, it's a hyper realistic, like actual work environment. Uh, it is a security operations center. And people always ask me like, like, what's the difference between try hack me and hack the box and cyber range? And like, why would I join cyber range, et cetera? So basically like try hack me and hack the box. They're like nice polished, basically like SaaS applications where you would join. And there's like projects or not projects, but like uh, activities that you can go through, like different rooms that you can do. And it's kind of like a, a controlled environment um, that they set up. But the cyber range, it's it's literally just a work environment. Like I've worked at a lot of different jobs. Like I worked at Microsoft three different times. I've worked at a bank. Um, I've worked in local government. And I've kind of taken my experience from all those places. And I, I built an environment that has components from each of those locations. And I chose like enterprise security tools that are, are used by large companies in industry. And I, I just made like an actual work environment with all of that stuff in it. And I created courses that show how to do different, like the various security operations and how to use the different tools. And basically like, the difference is a cyber range is like a legit like work environment that's open where you have near admin access to most stuff. And then I just teach you how to use it. Um, whereas like hack the box and stuff, those are more like a uh, kind of closed off like sandbox type things. And they're not bad, they're like good products. I'm just saying like, that's the difference between the cyber range and like, you know, hack the box for, for instance. It's a really, really realistic environment, uh, including like the logs and everything is really, really realistic. It's exposed to the internet intentionally and it, it constantly gets attacked and it gets breached occasionally by design. And there's already uh, like a thousand members in there. And as such, whenever people like create a virtual machine or log in or like literally do anything, a lot of organic logs and traffic is created and it gets sent to this central re repository. And then we can do all kinds of things with that, like create alerts, uh, do threat hunting, do log analysis. It's just like a, a literal, like actual production work environment with like a ton of organic traffic and like actions going on inside of it. And getting into who built it and why, um, I'm like the primary security architect and engineer who actually built the cyber range um, from the ground up. Like I said, I just designed it based off of the different environments that I worked in. Um, getting into like who supports it. So like support engineering and security support or community support. Um, that would be Aries and Andrea. You can find them both in the forums uh, in the community section. Aries does like a lot of support engineering. Like if people get stuck in the lab is like their vulnerability scan doesn't work for whatever reason or they're having trouble with their VMs, like he'll help them. And then Andrea like watches the forums a lot and she does like a lot of other stuff as well. And then in terms of like a back end software engineering and DevOps slash escalation engineer, that would be Arisa. Um, you can find her in the forum as well. She's kind of like, if there's like a more serious problem that the initial support like can't get to, she'll like fix it. But she handles like a lot of the automation and stuff on the back end as well. 
and then getting into like operations management, um, that would be Sija. Uh, she basically knows how to do everything to some extent. Uh, she'll like do code review for Artisa if she changes changes something in the environment, and then she just basically makes sure like everything we're doing makes sense and it's like very optimized and she can fill in in like any of those other areas. And you can find all these people in the CyberRange community. Like you can just like look them up. Um, I have like a lot of other team members as well, but all, they're mostly handling like uh, content production and then platform management, like uh, Instagram or LinkedIn and that type of thing. But these are like the main people who support the CyberRange and like support the community members. And then getting into what it looks like when you actually join and get access, you'll kind of land on this screen right here. You can see like the member count. Uh, there's currently uh, a thousand members or like a bit over a thousand, but this is a community section. There's, there's a lot of activity here. Um, people ask questions about stuff all the time or they post wins and that type of stuff. You'll start here, you'll go to the classroom and then you'll click Cyberbrain start here. And then this basically is just like an introduction uh, of the cyber engine, like what you can expect and like how to use it and everything. Um, especially this roadmap is like really important. This roadmap video, I, I have this spreadsheet here. And basically the idea is um, you go through this and then you do everything at a, a really high level. And the idea is if you max this thing out at S tier, you're just like super, super employable and it's much easier for you to find work. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in cybersecurity. Like a lot of people find jobs in IT and like other various roles as well. but this video is like really, really, really important. But this is the classroom. Uh, this is cybersecurity theory. Um, it just covers like basics and fundamentals and kind of prepares you for the hands-on section. This is vulnerability management. It teaches you how to use the, the enterprise vulnerability management platform, which is Tenable. Um, we license this, it's like fully licensed and you'll learn all kinds of stuff like how to do different scans. I'll show you what this looks like in a bit, but Told you how to do scans against Windows and Linux, how to do um, automatic and like manual vulnerability remediations. And then the final project for this section is basically you build like a whole vulnerability management program from start, including like the creating the vulnerability management policy to getting stakeholder buy-in to like, you know, everything all the way down to like the first cycle of vulnerability remediation. It gives you like a really good sense uh, of how it works uh, in the real world. And it's really, really useful when it comes to interviewing because I really touch heavily on like the, the soft side of vulnerability management, which is what makes vulnerability management difficult in the real world. And then next we have like the threatening security operations and incident response. Of course, um, we go over, you know, those three things I just mentioned, but we cover like the EDR platform, like endpoint detection and response, which we use dependent for endpoint. We cover incident response. We cover SIM, which we use Microsoft Sentinel for our SIM. We cover uh, log ingestion and log analysis and querying logs with KQL. That's Kuso query language. We cover how to make dashboards. And it's just really, really useful. And this course is um, actually really, really uh, important when it comes to like the next course, which is where we actually use AI and build an AI agent that's capable of doing like threat hunting and automatic remediation. Um, so I'll show you that in the classroom. And that's course number five, the AI cybersecurity with Python. This course is still in production. I'm like literally recording it and releasing it right now. And I just like record it, edit, and then release. And this will be like a, a really ongoing course um, where, where we add extra fun functionality to the AI agent. And the whole point of this course is to just get people used to like our industry uh, adapting AI and like how that's gonna change the industry and everything. Cause the L1 SOC analyst, uh, it will still be there, but you need to be able to like leverage AI and understand agentic AI in terms of cybersecurity. So that's like the whole point of this course. We actually like learn Python enough. So there's like Python fundamentals. And then we get into like the building blocks of like how to use uh, GPT and open AI and like the API key and like uh, how to threat hunt with it. And then we actually build the agent uh, from the ground up. And then we have this like interview and resume portfolio um, and internship section. Basically um, it is what you would, you would guess how, like how to build your resume and everything. But the really cool part of this is the internship component. Um, and basically how that works is if you opt to do the internship, you'll fill out the spreadsheet with your name and stuff. And then the video explains it, but there's like a lot of different tasks around vulnerability management, like threat hunting, and then soon to be agentic AI, like tasks that you can do. And then you fill this out and you turn it into us. And the idea is you go out and like apply to jobs and then you use our company like on your, ex your resume for experience. 
And then, like I said, they'll like reach out to us and we'll validate it. And then it just helps you get interviewed. It really helps like quite a bit, actually. Cool. So back to classroom. And then so there's a couple more things in here, like interview videos. This is like somebody gets a job, I'll interview them and then we'll like post it inside of here. And then, yeah, you can kind of see this. And then the live recordings, um, we have like live recordings every week where I go on camera and like use my mic just like this. And then we have like 20 to 40 members, um, people who can make it, they'll come and they'll ask questions and then we'll talk about different random stuff. Um, that's in the calendar at the top. You can see like all the meetings here. And then there's this map real quick. I just want to show it to you. You can see like all the different members who are in the cyber range and like what region of the world they live in. So if you want to network with somebody and you live in like, I don't know, like uh, whatever country this is, Spain, you can maybe you can like, you know, hit this person up uh, if you want to like, you know, chat with them and network or ask about employability in, in Spain or something like this. The, the map is like really cool feature. I just wanted to like cover it really quick. And then basically what things look like, um, I'm just going to show you a few of the different platforms just so you can get an idea uh, and a sense for what to expect. So basically when you sign up, you'll eventually get to a, port, a part in the course where it gives you instructions on how to like request access to everything. And then once you do, you'll get an email that looks something like this. Uh, this is your username for all of the platforms like Azure and then Tenable. And then you'll log in and then it will look something like this. So for example, this is like the Azure portal. You do a lot of stuff in here. So for example, these are like all of the members of virtual machines. You can see there's like 383 virtual machines currently. And then if you want to see like other people's virtual machines, you have to like DM me and then I'll, I'll give you read access. But um, I don't let everyone see everyone's VMs by default just because there's like too many and it might like overwhelm people. But you can always like DM us and then ask for reader access. But that's what that, that looks like. And then this is the SIM. This is the SIM interface, Microsoft Sentinel, where you can see incidents, a lot of the incidents that members have spun up, as well as like a general overview of like all the traffic and stuff that comes into here. And there's, there's like quite a bit of logs just because there's so many people using it because uh, it is it is an actual like legit production environment. There's just a lot going on. So there's a lot of logs to like practice with and do log analysis and stuff. And then this interface, uh, this is the endpoint detection and response uh, portal, which is Defender for Endpoint. You can do stuff uh, like query a bunch of different tables for different logs um, for stuff that takes place in the cyber range, essentially. Like device file events, whenever somebody like creates, deletes, reads, updates a file, maybe not reads, um, it depends. It will get logged in here and like all this stuff, like device logon events, like when somebody tries to log in, you can like query and see them. There's just everything is like logged essentially. And then this area over here, this like incidents, um, this is like automatically spun up. Um, the platform will do automatic correlation and detection of stuff like that's happening in the cyber range. And it will create these like incidents in here and it will map out all the entities. So you can like come through here and like look if you're doing threat hunting. Um, this will be like kind of confusing for people, but a lot of this, or rather all of it is explained in the courses, but it's actual environment with like actual stuff in here. And I don't even like cover everything there is to cover in the course because it's like there's like too much or whatever. But I just want to like show you and give you like a sense for the stuff that you might see, like, you know, once you join and start using it. And then Tenable, this is our vulnerability management platform. Um, Tenable is like a real like highly used enterprise vulnerability management platform. Like you could expect companies like maybe Costco and Starbucks to use it, like these like Fortune 100 companies. And I chose this one. Um, cause it's used so widely in our industry and it's like really good to get, uh, experience with it. So for example, if we go to scans, I'll go to like all scans and you can, I can see like literally like all the cyber range users, um, all of their scans here. And there's like a, a large number of scans. So for example, I'll try to find like a good one. We can like look at the, the scan results in it. So this one looks good. So I'll click their scan. I can see like kind of a summary here of the, the vulnerabilities. I wonder if I can find one with more than that. let me see. Here's one that has some critical vulnerabilities. So I'll check out this scan. See, you can see a bunch of different vulnerabilities that was on their computer. Um, I'm not going to like explain this too much, but the course will go over like how to create a scan, how to like do vulnerability remediation, how to like verify the vulnerabilities here have been remediated, etc. 
And if we want to like create our own scan, we can say like create scan then advanced network scan. And there's like a lot of different settings you can put in here. Like you select the scanner, you select like your virtual machines IP address that you created in Azure, you like manually create the virtual machine. It's just like really, really realistic and really, really useful. And then the actual hands-on AI component, uh, basically this is just happening in, like we create the agentic AI, like the actual AI agent uh, with Python. And then we use the log analytics workspace, like our central log repository in the side range. We use that to like query logs, we retrieve the logs, we create a, a really complex, uh, finely engineered prompt, and then we send that to the GPT uh, API endpoint with some instructions, some threat hunting happens, and then some results get returned. And then based on the results, we're going to like do certain things like isolate the virtual machine or create an incident in Sentinel, something like this. That's the cyber range, all the different tools, like the hands-on components in different areas. Of it. And I will say like not everybody inside the cyber range is job hunting. People are just there because they want to brush up on their skills and they want to use an actual production environment. A lot of other people are there just because maybe they're having fun doing, we do like a, a threat hunt capture the flag every couple of weeks where people win money. It's like total of 600 USD usually in prizes and like six people win. Um, so that's pretty fun. Uh, other people just want to like network because the people are there like pretty well behaved actually. And it's just a really nice community. And yeah, it's just really useful. So there's a lot of different people there for a lot of different reasons. But for me, like the main idea I had with making the cyber range was uh, like the thing I said in the beginning to kind of bridge the gap and then help people to get experience in order to like get more actual experience and like get hired and stuff like that's the whole like reason I built this high range and why I tried to make it as realistic as possible. And I don't think something like this actually exists, especially for the price point. I, I'm certain, I'm certain you're not going to be able to find anything like, like this on the internet for as cheap as it is. And I'm planning to like slightly, slightly raise the price next month um, in September, like around September 15. It's not going to be like too much. It's not something that's worth FOMOing over. Um, I guess the only FOMO thing is there's like a physical limitation to how, how many people can like actually join the community. Um, my initial goal was to have a thousand people in the community. Um, and we hit that goal like relatively early on and we've been maintaining it. And there's like limits. The next limit is like another like 2000 people total before I have to like scale out the infrastructure again. It's not a huge deal, but there's like a limit, but I'll, I'll probably like announce it or something before it starts getting too close. But yeah, this is high range. It's legit. Uh, I'm legit. Um, I try to make uh, the environment and the product as good as it possibly can be. And there's a lot of staff in there to help support you if you get stuck, uh, as well as the actual like interns and like other side range members who will help to you. Um, it's not one of those things that where you like get it and you're just left alone, right? If you like get stuck and you make a post, it's likely someone will respond to it like relatively soon just because there's like so many members and there's dedicated staff. But let me know if you have any questions about anything. I'm really willing to answer like literally anything and I'm really transparent about everything. So feel free to ask. Um, my legitimacy with Google and ChatGPT if you want. But yeah, hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll see you inside the cyber range uh, sometime soon. And maybe we'll see you on like the weekly call or something. But yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.